Hello guys, welcome to another video. So in this video, I just wanted to do one more graph question before your exam. This is from paper November 2019, question number four. So complete the table for y equal to this equation. For these values of x, we have these values of y. So here we have to find this value. So when x equal to four, find the value of y. So replace x four in this equation. So you have three plus two times four minus 4 cube divided by 5 that should be minus 1.8 okay that will be your value for y now next step is we have just to plot the points and connect the dots with a smooth curve so step by step so these two things you will do almost all the time find the value and then draw your curve so that we will be guaranteed that's what's going to happen on the paper this is what you will do okay so we have a uh, minus 4 7.8 that will be about right here usually i make i make really uh, silly mistakes when i plot the points i misread the scale so make sure that the points are really accurate okay and then we have minus 3 uh, 2.4 so 2.4 is right here then we have minus 2 0 0.6 then we have minus 1 will be um, 1.2 1.2 will be this one then we have 0, 3. Then we have 1, 4.8. Where's 4.8? 4 4.8 4 will be right here. Then we have 2, 5.4. 5.4 will be this one. And we have 3, 3.6. 3.6 will be somewhere around here. And then finally we have 4 will be minus 1.8. So 4 minus 1.8 will be this is 2 will be right here. Okay, so now since we have all the dots, we have to join them with a smooth curve. Now you have to understand, the best, uh, the better your curve is, the better your answer will be for the next part. So make sure that your curve is really smooth for your answers for the next part. Okay, so let's try your best. And you're going to be using a pencil to draw your curve. So if you think it's bad, you can always erase and retry again, okay? So let me try this going to this. And this joint to this one. So this is not great. It should be more smooth, but it should not. It should be fine. Okay. So this one joining with this, and finally this one going to this. Okay. So that will be my curve obtained by this table of values. So part A and B are pretty simple, and this is what you all always have to do for step one and two. Now following up, this is a very common question too. By drawing a tangent, estimate the gradient of the graph at this point. 1 and then 4.8. So where is that? 1, 4.8 will be this point, right? So we have to draw a tangent. So we have, uh, let me use a different color here. I will use color blue. So you have to go at this point and then draw a tangent that touches the point um, at only one point, right? So there you go. Okay, so that is your tangent. Now you have to find one point on this side and one point on this side. Now you can choose any point that you like. Uh, I like to find the one that is convenient for me. So I would choose this one. This one shows to be minus one and then 2.2. .2. And then this one will be, let me choose this one, which is uh, 2.5 and seven. So now I have two points. I can find my gradient pretty easily, okay. So two points, we have minus one, 2.2, and then 2.57. So to find the gradient, we just have to do y2 minus y1. Okay, and then x2 minus x1. Okay, that is pretty simple. Seven minus 2.2 .2 divided by 2.5 minus minus one. That will be 1.37, correct to 3SF, okay? Now part D. On the grid below, draw the line 2y plus x equal to 8. So how do you draw a line? You just have to find two points on the line, and then we can join the two points to form the line, right? Now, what values of x can you take? As you can see, x can be between minus 4 and 4, right? So let's say I choose, um, I will choose x equal to 0, for example. So y, so 2y plus 0 is equal to 8, so y will be 4. That is my first point, 0, 4. 
Now I will have to choose another point. So let me choose, uh, for example, x is equal to four. That will be two y plus four is equal to eight. So y will be equal to um, that will be four two. So my point will be uh, four two. So now I have two points. I can join my two points on the graph to form the line. So the first point is zero four, and then I have four two. Four two will be this one. Okay, so now let's join these two by a straight line. So this will be joined with this one. Okay. There you go. And then make sure to extend the line to cut the curve at the three places that we can see. So this is the first point, second point, and third point at where it cuts the curve. Now always label your lines. That is equal to 2x, 2x, sorry, 2y plus x equal to 8. So 2y equal to 8 minus x. Same thing, right. Now once you have your line, let's see what's the question. Write down the x coordinates of the point where the line intersects the graph. So you just have to see where it cuts your graph. So as you can see, it cuts my graph at this point, at this point, and at this point. So you just have to show your work, how did you find those points. So you basically connect these two to your x-axis, and this as well, same thing, and finally for this one. Now you just have to take the readings that you can see. The first one shows to be about 0 0.4, 3.3, and then minus 3.8. So let's write this down. The x will be 0 0.4, 3.3, and then minus 3.8. Okay, that is pretty straightforward until now. Now let's move on to the last part of the question. It says these x coordinates, so these ones, are solution to this equation. Okay? Find the values of a and b. So my question is, how did you find this x coordinate? You would say, okay, I had to draw this line, and when they intersect, I had those x coordinates. So it means that these values were obtained by the intersection of the line and the curve. So whenever you see intersection, it means that we have to solve them simultaneously. So my first equation will be 2y plus x equal to 8. And then I have y equal to 3 plus 2x minus x cubed over 5. Now, we can make x become my subject of formula if you want to. But that will, be, that will not be useful because here we need to find in terms of x. So let's make y become my subject of formula. This is my equation number 1. So let's replace y by this value in this one. So you will have 2 times y, which is 3 plus 2x minus x cubed over 5 plus x equal to 8. Now we have to expand. That will be 6 plus 4x minus 2x cubed over 5 plus x equal to 8. Now the next step is, as you can see, the denominator is 5. We can multiply by 5 everywhere to remove this denominator. So multiply by 5 everywhere. You will have 30 plus 20x minus 2x cubed plus 5x equal to 40. Now we have to simplify. Let's send everything to one side. You will have 2x cubed. Then we have, so here 20 plus 5 is 25. That will be minus 25 on this side, 40 minus 30, that will be plus 10, equal to 0. So that is the equation that we're actually solving. Now we have to compare with this one. So we have x, 2x power 3, plus ax plus b equal to 0. So comparing the values, you can see that a is equal to minus 25, and b is equal to 10. So that will be your two values that you need to find. So let's say uh, in the exam you don't know what to do. Whenever you have something like this to find the values of A and B, but you don't know what to do. So what, what you want to do is you want to look back at the equations. Just find, just find two equations. Whenever you find two equations, solve them simultaneously, 
and then eventually you will have something in this form. So just to recap, when you don't know what to do, look back on the questions and just find two different equations that you can solve simultaneously. And then eventually you will find those two values. Okay, so I hope that was somewhat helpful. And as always, um, thank you for watching. On this note, I just want to wish you guys good luck for tomorrow, for your exams, and all the best. I will see you soon.